O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Lead your people to freedom, O God, and banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth, bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Let us pray. May we, Lord, who walk in the light of your presence, acclaim your Christ, rising victorious, as he banishes all darkness from our hearts and minds, now and for ever. Amen. This evening's psalm is Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord my God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb you have been my strength. My praise shall always be of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me. And those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Go after him and seize him. Because there is none who will save. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to my help, O my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience and shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long, though I cannot know the number of them. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. And now that I am old and grey-headed, O God, do not forsake me, till I make known your strength to this generation and your power to all who are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. You have done great things. Who is like you, O God? 
You have showed me great troubles and adversities, but you will restore my life and bring me up again from the deep places of the earth. You strengthen me more and more. You enfold me and comfort me. Therefore I will praise you upon the lyre for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing with joy when I play to you, and so will my soul which you have redeemed. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness all day long, for they are ashamed and disgraced who sought to do me harm. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Faithful God, living Saviour, in youth and old age, in weakness and adversity, from the womb to the grave, may we know your protection and proclaim your great salvation in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. First lesson is taken from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5. These words the Lord spoke to all your assembly, in the mountain from the midst of the fire, the cloud and the thick darkness, with a loud voice. He added no more, and he wrote them on two tablets of stone and gave them to me. So it was, when you heard the voice from the midst of the darkness, while the mountain was burning with fire, that you came near to me, all the heads of your tribes and your elders. And you said, Surely the Lord our God has shown us his glory and his greatness, and we have heard his voice from the midst of the fire. We have seen this day that God speaks with man, yet he still lives. Now therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us. If we hear the voice of the Lord our God any more, then we shall die. For who is there of all flesh who has heard the voice of the living God speaking from the midst of the fire, as we have, and lived? You go near and hear all that the Lord our God may say, and tell us all that the Lord our God says to you, and we will hear and do it. Then the Lord heard the voice of your words when you spoke to me. And the Lord said to me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken to you. They are right in all that they have spoken. Oh, that they had such a heart in them that they would fear me and always keep all my commandments, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Go and say to them, Return to your tents. But as for you, stand here by me, and I will speak to you all the commandments, the statutes and the judgments, which you shall teach them that they may observe them in the land which I am giving to them to possess. Therefore you shall be careful to do as the Lord your God has commanded you. You shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. You shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God has commanded you, that you may live and that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess. Here ends the first lesson.
God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth as his children. He has raised Jesus Christ from the dead, so that we have a sure hope in him. We have the promise of an inheritance that can never be spoilt, because it is kept for us in heaven. The ransom that was paid to free us was not paid in silver or gold, but in the precious blood of Christ, the Lamb without spot or stain. God raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that we might have faith and hope in God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. The second lesson is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1. Paul writes, Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ, when he raised him from the dead, and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things, to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Here ends the second lesson. Alleluia. Mary of Magdala said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our forebears, 
to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Mary of Magdala said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Queen of heaven, rejoice this day. Alleluia. He whom you were called to bear. Alleluia. As he promised, has arisen. Alleluia. Pour for us to God your prayer. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, brought joy to the whole world, grant that, aided by the prayers of his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may know the joys of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. We pray to you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in the paths of peace and goodwill. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offences. We pray to you, O Lord, that there may be peace in your church and for the whole world, we pray to you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Mark, Saint Isted, and with all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ, we pray to you, O Lord, in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And now may the risen Christ grant us the joy of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Be not dismayed, whatever betide, God wills 